By day, he is Chris Ahrens, a 23-year-old marketing student and part-time leasing agent in Lincoln, Nebraska. But when the sun goes down and the lights come up, Autumn Quinn hits the stage. For Aaron's, drag performance began as a joke. He wanted to say that as a man, he had proudly worn a dress and heels in public. Hey, are we having fun now? Yeah. Are you done? Things changed when he realized drag isn't just about putting on some makeup and lip syncing to Oops, I Did It Again by Britney Spears. It's a form of art that he says helps many in the LGBT community open up and express themselves. Drag queens are this powerful voice in the community. We get to make people feel comfortable whether they like it or not. Because if you're standing next to me and I look like a freaking clown, you're obviously going to feel a lot less tension and you're, the attention's not going to be on you. So you can go have your own fun. And drag isn't just for the guys. You'll also see women at the shows dressed as drag kings or women performing as men. do all the necessary things that like binding my chest, you know, just seeing masculine and making like beards and all that stuff, my hair short and, you know, kind of giving male char characteristics that you would see like a normal man. But drag doesn't come without its challenges. It's expensive. And unless you've got a reputation, there isn't a whole lot of money coming back in. And like many drag performers, Aaron's was also faced with a family confused by his desire to perform as a woman. Their concern for me was, um, does that mean you're transitioning? They think that I'm a woman now, and I'm not. I'm still me. I'm just a louder, more covered version of me. Aaron says he's fortunate enough to have a family that is so accepting of his interests, but he knows the same can't be said for many others in the LGBT community. Through Autumn, Aaron says he's discovered a voice he didn't know he had. Now he hopes to be a voice for those in the community that are still afraid to be themselves. Are we ready for another entertainer, everyone? Okay, the next entertainer needs a little more encouragement than woo. Are we ready for the next entertainer, everyone? As a drag performer who's only been doing this for a year, Aaron says he still has a lot to learn. But he's excited for what's to come, especially in terms of how his marketing degree can be used to further his drag. And as for Autumn, well, she has a show to perform.